Four senators are holding up appointments at different federal agencies. Ohio Republican Senator J.D. Vance announced this week he will put a hold on Justice Department nominees in response to Donald Trump's indictment. Two Republicans, one Democrat, and an independent lawmaker are blocking the appointments across multiple agencies and departments. CBS News congressional reporter Zach Hudak joins us now. Hey there, Zach. Tell us, what are some of the reasons that these senators are giving for holding up these nominations? The reasons are all across the board. As you said, it is two Republicans, an independent and a Democrat. So J.D. Vance, as you said, is very angry about Donald Trump being indicted this past week. He says that if the Justice Department is going to be politicized and used to try to hurt a uh, candidate for president, uh, then he is not going to continue to allow new nominees to be put into the department. Uh, Joe Manchin, a Democrat from West Virginia is upset about the Biden administration's energy policies and their desires to curb coal production. That's bad for his state, and he says that he will not allow any EPA nominees in until he hears a new plan from the White House. He hears a new course of action. Bernie Sanders, an independent from Vermont, is kind of uh, taking a totally different stance. He wants to hear from the Biden administration a new plan to lower drug prices. Until that comes, he says no one nominated for the National Institutes of Health is going to get through. Finally, Tommy Tuberville out of Alabama, a Republican, this is possibly the most interesting one because due to the military's uh, policy of being willing to reimburse service members for their costs if they go out of state to get an abortion, Tommy Tuberville says he will not uh, vote for any of, of their nominations, but that also includes over a hundred, excuse me, over 200 uh, enlisted members, en enlisted service people who are awaiting promotions and cannot get those promotions because it's being held up. Uh, you know, Zach, you're laying out such a sort of complicated uh, political landscape there. Um, can you just uh, go a, a bit further here? Help us understand with Democrats actually in control of the Senate, how do Republican senators Vance and Tuberville have the power to slow walk appointments? Typically for relatively non-controversial votes like appointments, they're done uh, by unanimous consent. They're lumped together and it is a quick vote without much debate. Uh, however, one senator alone can stop that from happening. They can say, we are going to force a cloture vote, a vote to end debate and move on to the vote. And in order to pass a cloture vote, you need 60 senators. Now we have nearly an evenly divided Senate. So in order to do that, you need nine Republicans to cross the line and, uh, and vote with you. So it creates the situation where uh, Republicans or really this into Bernie Sanders or Joe Manchin mm -hmm. can hold this up because it's going to be hard to get non Republicans to speed things up. I would also add there's just a huge number of nominations and other things they have to get through. So one cloture vote could hold it up for days alone, but we're talking about we, we could have dozens of these mm -hmm. uh, to really delay things. Uh, Zach, how are the colleagues of these lawmakers responding? In particular, uh, the Tuberville stuff, uh, not having the promotions for service members. I can't imagine that going over very well in his own party. It is frustrating for members on both sides. Uh, the way that Congress is structured right now, Republicans have strong control of the House, but uh, the Senate is nearly evenly split. And there is a sentiment, really in both parties, that there isn't a lot we can get done right now. But one of the things we can get done is get these nominations through. You can usually count on the Senate to handle nominations. But that one thing that they're capable of with the way things are divided, they're no longer capable of. So there's this sentiment that what are we even doing here? We are elected officials <laughs> mm -hmm. and there's not that much we can get done. We can't even promote service members. Mm. All right. Zach Hudak, thank you. Thank you.